Hi. Uh, ready uh, for another uh, episode in the life of Smokey the Crow? Here it is. Smokey is a farmer. Let's see how he manages with that. Okay, here he is up in the tree. This is a real, this is the best picture of Smokey yet, I think. Yeah, and that's where he likes to be, up in a tree. Mm -hmm. For him, that's normal. Spring was coming. The days grew longer, and the sun grew warmer. Smokey liked to sit in the apple tree on warm days and make his funny noises. One day, Father stopped under the apple tree to talk to Smokey. You're a bad boy, Smokey, he said. Bad boy, bad boy. Now, he's only kidding. He, he's not mad at uh, Smokey. You'll see what's going to go happen here. Smokey turned his head and looked at Father. Bad boy, bad boy, said Father. Can't you say bad boy, Smokey? Try to say bad boy, Smokey. Mother came out of the house. Now, Jim, what are you doing, she asked. Smokey is going to talk one of these days, Father said. I thought it would be a good joke on Peter to have Smokey call him a bad boy some morning. Mother and father laughed. Smokey learned to laugh before he learned to talk. He had always made his funny noises when people laughed. Now he began to laugh very much as people do. Crows can do this sort of thing. Yeah, crows can learn how to talk and laugh. Every day father tried to get Smokey to say bad boy. At first, Smokey could only make a noise. Then the noise began to be a little like bad boy. At last, one day, he said it, bad boy. Mother came out to the apple tree to hear him. She and father laughed and laughed. It'll be a big joke on Peter to have Smokey call him a bad boy, said father. That is just what happened. One Saturday morning, Peter and Carol were playing under the apple tree. Suddenly they heard someone laugh. They looked up, and there was Smokey in the tree, laughing at them. Smokey, said Peter, you are a bad boy to laugh at us. Then Smokey said right back to Peter, bad boy, bad boy. Peter was so surprised that he did not know what to say. Carol began to laugh. Peter, she cried, Smokey can talk. He called you a bad boy. I know he did, said Peter. How did he learn that? Just then, Father came out of the barn. He was trying not to laugh. Now, Father, said Peter, you, you did that. You got Smokey to call me a bad boy. Father laughed. Peter laughed. Carol laughed. Mother came out of the house, and they all laughed. Smokey sat up in the tree and laughed, too. He flapped his wings up and down and laughed. Bad boy, bad boy, Smokey cried again and again. That was the way Smokey began to talk. It was not long before he could say other things. Peter and Carol helped him learn to talk. He soon learned to call Peter. He had, her, he had a hard time learning to say Carol, but he did it. Smokey learned some talk for himself. That was the way he played a joke on Father. Smokey and Father were good friends now. He liked to ride on the big wagon with Father when Peter and Carol were away at school. Smokey stayed with Father all day. And here we have Smokey, see Smokey there, on the wagon, yeah, waiting to go for a ride. <laughs> yeah. One day Father had the wagon and horses ready to go down to the field. Um, uh, most farmers say get up to their horses to make them start, but Father had his own way of starting his horses. He gave a kind of cluck, 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 cluck to his horses when he was ready to start. When he wanted them to stop, he said, whoa, just as others do. So that one day, uh, Father had the wagon and horses ready to go down to the field. Up in the wagon sat Smokey. Father went back into the barn for something. Uh, when he came out, the horses were walking away. Whoa, called Father, whoa. The horses stopped. Then Father heard, cluck, 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 cluck. Uh, that said, go to the horses, and they started. Smokey was doing this. Whoa, called Father again. Then Father heard Smokey say, whoa. Father had to run to catch up with the wagon. Now I see, he said, it is you, Smokey. You were telling the horses to go. Father thought this was a good joke. He laughed and laughed. Smokey laughed and flapped his wings. Bad boy, bad boy, he said. 
Yes, you are, Smokey, said Father. You are a bad boy. But when Father got into the wagon, he let Smokey say, cluck, 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 to make the horses go. Smokey learned that he could talk to the animals in the barnyard. He heard Father say, hurry, one day. Smokey liked that, so he called, hurry, hurry, to help Father get the cows into the barn. He heard Father call, pig, 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 when he wanted the pigs to come for their dinner. So Smokey called, pig, pig, pig. He liked to see the pigs come, come running on the run. But sometimes the pigs did not get any dinner when Smokey called. He played a joke on them. Father liked Smokey, but he did not think much of other crows. Then one night he read something about crows in his farm paper. He read in the paper how men had found out that crows eat a great many cutworms. This is a help to the farmer, for cutworms cut off the corn just, just as it starts to grow. Then Father read in the paper how farmers uh, could keep the crows from pulling up the little corn. Father laughed when he read this in his farm paper. I have just read about a good joke I can play on the crows, he said. What's the joke? asked Peter. I'm going to put something that smells very bad on my corn before I put it into the ground, said Father. Will it still smell when it comes up? asked Peter. Yes, but it will not hurt the corn, said Father. The crows will not like the smell, and so they will find cutworms to eat instead. So I will make the crows work for me. That'll be fine, said Peter. Then we'll get along better with all the crows. When the, the warm spring days came, all the farmers were hard at work. They had to plow the ground before they could plant the corn. Mr. Long was plowing in his field, on the other side of the fence, Mr. Gray plowed his field. Smokey soon learned to ride on the plow. He watched for worms that the plow turned up. Sometimes he flew over the fence to ride on the plow with Mr. Gray. All the crows knew that it was plowing time, too. Early every morning, they came along after the plows and picked up worms. Smokey did not like to have all those crows in the field. They were after worms now, but he was afraid that they might get after him again. But Father was there, and Pat was not far away, so Smokey was not afraid of the crows. The crows seemed to think that the plowing was done just for them. After the long winter, they liked to have fat worms for food. Uh, there were nests to make these days, and eggs to lay in the nests. Soon there would be little crows calling for something to eat. Once Smokey flew down to get a fat worm, but another crow got there first. Smokey did not like that. And here he is, angry. And the other farm is plowing the field. See, here's Mr. Long, and over here is Mr. Gray. You are a pig, Smokey, said Father. Why don't you let the other crows have some worms. Pig, 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 cried Smokey. Then Smokey flew down uh, to get another fat worm. Again, another crow got there first. Pig, 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 cried Smokey, as he flapped his wings up and down. That was too much for the other crow. He was surprised to see a crow that cried, pig, 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 just like a man. <laughs> Smokey thought it was fun to cry, pig, 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 at the crows. He called, hurry, 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 at them too. But it was not long before the crows put an end to Smokey's fun. They soon learned that Smokey's talk could not hurt them. So they went on eating worms. When the ground was plowed, Mr. Long and Mr. Gray began to plant the corn. Uh, they did just what the farmer um, and the farm paper told them to do. And here they are again. And here you can see them. Here this is Mr. Long and Mr. Gray over here. The crows will not pull up our corn this spring, they said. When Saturday came, almost all the corn was planted in the ground. We will soon be through, said Mr. Long. He was hard at work in his field. On the other side of the fence, Mr. Gray was at work too. The sun was very, very hot that Saturday. It was too hot for spring. It was like the hot days of summer. Peter and Carol did their work at home that morning. Then they met at the big tree and started to go to the woods. They took Pat and Smokey with them. It'll be nice to get into the woods out of the sun, said Carol. 
The hard work and hot sun made the horses very tired. Mr. Long and Mr. Gray were tired, too. They stopped to talk. The horses were glad to stand for five or ten minutes. Well, Bill, said Mr. Long, I think we're going to get some rain. Mr. Gray looked up at the sky. Just then a little wind blew up. Hmm, funny, said Mr. Gray, that little wind was cold. It came from high up in the air, said Mr. Long. That is what makes storms, said Mr. Gray. Hot air on the ground and cold winds high up in the sky. Look, said Mr. Long, off there, the sky is black. And here we have that. And then the two farmers looking at the black sky looming over them. Yeah. Yes, we're going to get some rain, said Mr. Gray, but we can get all our corn planted if we hurry. A good rain will be good for our corn. Mr. Long was looking up at the sky. I don't like it, he said. There's a big wind with that rain. The two men went back to work. It was still very hot, but every minute or two, a cold wind blew. The men wanted to get their corn planted before the rain came. Mr. Long clucked to his horses to make them go faster. Get along there, Mr. Gray called to his horses. The storm was coming. Down in the woods, Peter and Carol were looking for crow's nests. They came to Smokey's old home, but the last year's nest had nothing in it. They could not find any crows at all. They went almost to the old house on the other side of the woods. Just then the sky began to get black. Then a cold wind began to blow. I wish I had my coat, said Carol. I think it's going to rain. There's going to be a storm, said Peter. Come on, Carol. We must get home as fast as we can. Hurry, Pat. Hurry, Smokey. Hurry. And here they are, rushing out of the woods to get back home before the rain gets to them. Yeah, I'll show you another picture, too, while we're at it. See? There's the, the storm coming and the farmer's riding horses. When Peter and Carol got out of the woods, the wind was blowing hard. Mr. Long called to Mr. Gray... It's going to be a bad one, Bill. I'm, I'm going to get my horses into the barn as fast as I can. And it's just what I'm going to do, too, said uh, Mr. Gray. Hurry, Peter, called Mr. Long. Hurry, Carol, called Mr. Gray. Peter ran and climbed up on one of the horses. His father got on the other. Carol was on one horse. Her father was on the other. And away they went. Don't fall off, Peter, cried his father. Don't fall off, Carol, cried her father. Smokey was flying home fast. Down near the ground... Then up in the air, he let the wind help him fly. He did not stop in the cornfield. He made his way to the barn in a hurry. Pat was coming, too, but he could not keep up with Smokey. In the barnyard, the animals ran this way and that way. They were afraid. Pigs, cows, horses, they knew a storm was coming. When Smokey got to the barnyard, he called out, Hurry! Hurry! That was what the animals were waiting for. They had to have someone to tell them what to do. This time, Smokey told them. Cock, 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 Smokey cried. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The barn doors were open, and into the barn went the horses. Next came the cows. Pig, 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 called Smokey. The pigs ran to get their dinners. When they found nothing there, they ran into the barn after the cows. Then Pat jumped over the fence. Hurry, hurry, cried Smokey. Hurry, hurry said Pat, as he made the last pig go into the barn. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, they're helping getting the animals into the barn. Hmm, that's the last pig there. Peter and Father on the horses came into the barnyard. Father put the horses in the barn and closed the door. Run to the house, Peter, he cried. Peter and Father and Smokey and Pat went as fast as they could. They were almost at the back door before the storm was on them. What a storm! The wind blew. The rain came down. Too much rain all at once, said Mr. Long. It'll hurt the corn. Too much wind, too. Peter and father and mother looked out of the window. They saw a tree in the yard go down. But they were in the house, and all the animals were in the barn. Smokey sat on father's arm and watched the storm, too. Bad boy, said Smokey. Yes, Smokey, said Father. The storm is a bad boy. Father, said Peter, did you know that Smokey made the animals go into the barn? 
When we were coming up on the horses, I heard him calling, cluck, cluck, and hurry, hurry, hurry. I know it, Peter, said Father. I heard him call the pigs, too. After the storm was over, Peter said, Father, don't you think that Smokey's a pretty good farmer? I think Smokey is fine, said Father. We could not get along on this farm if we didn't have Smokey. This made Peter very happy. And that ends that episode. See you next time.